Hello and welcome to Do Try This at Home, brought to you by the Institute of Physics. We're making these films to help parents and carers across the UK and Ireland get their kids excited and curious about the world around them. My name's Jenny, welcome to my home. The activity I've got for you today is out of this world. It's called the Toilet Roll Solar System, perfect for anyone who likes space. What you'll need for this is a toilet roll, a fresh clean one, some colouring pens or pencils, scissors, some sheets of paper, and a ruler. You'll also need a list of the planets and their distances and sizes, and you can find this on our website. Now, toilet roll's really horrible to draw on, so we're gonna draw the planets on paper, and then you can cut them out and stick them on later. We're also gonna to need to shrink the solar system to fit it onto a toilet roll. So the way we're gonna do this is one sheet of toilet paper is going to be 30 million kilometers. And if we use this scale, the sun would be this big. If the sun was this big, the earth would be too small to see. So we're going to have to cheat. We're going to make the sun and the planets 100 times bigger. And if we did that, the sun would be this big. And if the sun is this big, the earth would be this big. And that makes everything a bit easier to see. The first thing you need to do is build your worlds. And I'm gonna hand you over to two planet building experts for this part. Great, now you've got your planets ready, you're ready to stick them down and lay out your toilet roll solar system. Let's go on the grand tour. We're starting at the center of the solar system with our sun, an ordinary star, about halfway through its lifetime. Place your loo roll to the edge of the sun and roll out two sheets to get to your first planet. Mercury, the smallest of the planets, just a little bit bigger than our moon and covered in craters. Next is Venus, another rocky planet with a thick poisonous atmosphere where temperatures can reach over 470 degrees C. Third rock from the sun, our home. A little bigger than Venus, the Earth is just far enough away from our star for water to be a liquid, but not too far away that it's all frozen. Moving on to Mars, the final rocky planet. It's about half as wide as the Earth. On average, it's a chilly minus 63 degrees C with ice caps made of solid carbon dioxide. Leaving the small inner planets behind, we go out to Jupiter, the first of the gas giants. And it really is giant over 11 times as wide as Earth and has a mass that is two and a half times greater than the mass of all the other planets in the solar system put together. Moving on, we reach another gas giant, Saturn, the second largest planet in the solar system and the Lord of the Rings. It isn't the only planet to have rings, but it definitely has the most beautiful ones. Six down and two to go. And there's a reason that the last pair are called the outer planets. It took the Voyager spacecraft five years to travel this distance. About four Earths across, Uranus is an ice giant and was the first planet to be discovered using a telescope. And finally, up here in the loft, four and a half billion kilometers out from the sun, we reach the last planet that we know about, Neptune, another ice giant about the same size as Uranus and surrounded by supersonic winds that take 165 years to complete one lap around its host star, the Sun. We got all the way to the loft. It's such a long way to Neptune and that's just in our solar system. So, 
let's roll it up, repairing any tears as we go, and put it back into its box to treasure forever. If you liked this film, then please give it a like, and why not head on over to our website where there's lots more activities that you can do at home. Thanks for watching, see you next time.